Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome to what will be the final episode of Let's Play Pilot Wing 64. And by final episode, I mean the final, the extra videos. So after this video, not going to be any more Pilot Wing 64 videos on my channel unless I randomly decide to upload one, which I really don't see why I would do that. Anyways, the main purpose of this video is going to be the Birdman stages. Um, as I've mentioned before, you unlock the, well, at least the, these three Birdman stages by getting silver medals on everything for each of the side games. Uh, to get the Holiday Island one, you just have to get silver on the beginner class missions. Um, but, you can actually play Birdman without even going into these little missions right here, and I'm going to show that off right now. Uh, basically, in each of the classes for the Rocket Belt, you can actually access something that will allow you to play one of the Birdman missions. And I'm going to show that off. Um, for no reason, I guess I'll just be Lark. Just for no reason at all, really. Okay, so in each of the um, missions, you can actually find a star that will automatically take you to the... Um, Birdman mission by itself. You don't actually have to unlock it, but if you want to actually, you know, start out as the Birdman thing, you do have to unlock it. Uh, very quickly, little Easter egg right here. If you go inside this drain pipe, it will randomly turn into nighttime. I don't really think that affects anything. Just a cool little feature, I guess. Anyways, um, the star for Holiday Island is actually over here. It's under this little land thing. And all you do is fly into it. Not fly under it like I just did. And not fly under it again like I just did. Fly into it. And it will take you to the Birdman stage for Holiday Island. I'm going to go over the Birdman stage when I actually get to it. Uh, next, I'm going to go to the Everfrost Island. Um, yeah, well, Balloon Bonanza, that works. Now, for the star in this one, you have to go over here to the left side, away from where the actual mission is. And you should find a waterfall that has a little cavern you can go into. Like the Dark Cavern in um, the Crescent Island place, you have to navigate through it. Um, since you're going to be doing the Birdman thing regardless, it really doesn't matter if you get point deductions, but just be careful that you don't crash. Uh, kind of a funny story. I, I actually uh, tried to film this earlier, but I couldn't find the star for some reason. Like, I got to the very end of the cave and I was like, where the hell's the star? Did I not do something right? Am I even in the right place? Turns out there's a hole down here. <laughs> I didn't even see this hole, but um, yeah, the star for Everfrost Island is in this little cavern. And, as usual, you get the Birdman stage if you find it. Okay, next, uh, let's go to Crescent Island. Okay, Crescent Island. Uh, I believe the fastest you can get this one is in the Dark Cavern. Instead of going through that cavern, what you're going to want to do is go down here. Uh, I believe there's a little cave that kind of opens up on the side of the island. If it takes me too long to find, I'll probably cut some of it out, but um, I don't think it's that hard to find. You just have to know where you're going on the map. I believe it's down here, though, I think. Yes, it is. Okay, right here. So yeah, swim all the way down here, then you find a little cavern, which... As usual, you just go inside, and there is the star. Collect the star, and come on, collect the star. And there we go, Birdman for the Crescent Island course. Uh, finally, for the little states, uh, the reason why I'm doing this one last is there is actually a few Easter eggs I want to show off in this uh, world as well. That's why I'm saving it for last. Okay, so in uh, this mission right here, um, first let's actually look at the map. Um, see, I think we're like in the city of like Los Angeles right now, I think. I don't know my California city geography that well. 
And what we need to get is we need to get over here to uh, San Francisco, or where San Francisco would be, because obviously that's the bridge, or a representation of the bridge. Okay, so let's get over there. You have to go north a little ways to get there, though, but that's to be expected. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show off is, it's not going to be the star, but it's actually going to be a warp to, like, where the star is. Uh, funnily enough, this uh, little seeker right here actually takes you across the entire map. Um, why it does that and why there would be any purpose for doing that, I have no idea, but that's what it does. Anyways, you want to get to this building right here, and then you want to, you know, navigate through it. And then when you exit the area, we're all the way over there. All the way where New York is. So yeah, we pretty much took a warp, warp that took us from right there, right there, all the way over here. Which I guess is kind of cool in its own right. Anyways, before I actually, uh, well, first thing to show the star, um, the star is just right there. It's like right as soon as you come out of the warp. And I think if you go back in the building, you can, you know, activate the warp again and go back to, you know, where you were. Uh, there is one thing I need to show off, kind of another little Easter egg. Uh, to get this one, uh, you need to go to Florida, or, again, the representation of Florida. Again, this is not really a big Easter egg, and you probably won't even use this, but it's kind of a cool feature they added. I'm not really sure what I'm looking for, though, to be honest. Um, it might be this right over here, actually. But basically, there's an area where if you hover above it with uh, the um, rocket belt, you can actually restore fuel, believe it or not. Uh, maybe this is not the area I was thinking of. I thought it was, though. Okay, yep, yep, that's the area right there. And yeah, you basically come to this area right here, and you can get free fuel. So you can, you know, fly around the area with the rocket belt even more if you want. And you can, you know, look at the entire area that is the uh, little states. While we're doing this, let's go ahead and pay a visit to Indiana, where I'm located. Yay, it's a field trip to my own state. How exciting. And of course, we're marked by giant farmland. Because that's apparently what Indiana is known for, besides NASCAR. Okay, so yeah. I live at about right here. I don't know. You probably can't even figure out where that is on an actual map, but yeah, somewhere around here. And yeah, that's kind of cool. I always like the little states area, just for the fact that you can, you know, fly around a model of the United States. Let's go back to the Mario Ra Mount Rushmore statue. Or actually, what I should probably be doing is I should probably show the actual Birdman course, so, I, you know, I can actually, you know, close the project. Oh well, I'll still go over here and see Mario, though, because Mario's awesome. Um... Anytime now. Anytime. Oh, yep, yeah, there he is up there. Hey, Mario! You're my hero! You're my hero, Mario. I'm gonna crash into you. I, I don't know if you crash into him with the rocket belt if he changes or not. I think that's only for the cannon and for the gyrocopter, but we'll find out. Right into his nose. <laughs> And because we can, let's actually watch a replay of that. Just because. <laughs> no, we didn't turn into Wario, unfortunately. Okay, so yeah, now that we're done with that, I can actually show off the Birdman course now. Um, so yeah, those are a few different ways you can access the Birdman, but you can also just, you know, do it from the main menu as well. Um, if you couldn't figure it out, Birdman is just a free roaming type of game. There aren't any missions. You don't get any rewards for doing this. It's just a free fall or free fly. Nothing really that interesting. And you can also change um, the weather and the time of day to your liking. 
really doesn't matter that much. And when you land, you can take off again, although this has no effect on the game. Okay, whatever. And then, of course, you have the controls. Um, oh yeah, you can also take pictures with the Birdman. So you can basically take whatever pictures you want and then save them in your file album. Which is a nice feature, I guess. Just take a picture of a few things and then we'll call it a project. Not sure what this is down here, but I'm taking a picture of it. Let's take a picture of the moon. It's kind of a weird looking moon, I have to admit. Um, and then just... Um, oh, the Ferris wheel. Gotta get a picture of that. It's obviously gonna be a little hard to take pictures because you're, you know, a bird, but <laughs> whatever. Okay, I'll just take a picture of these fountains and then I'm gonna have a crash landing picture. Always gotta have one of those. Oh, damn it. Oh, never mind. And I love the message you get whenever you crash. Oh no, you crashed! And yeah, those are my pictures. Kind of cool, I guess. None of them really turned out that well. Uh, this one's probably the best picture I took. Now eh, let's just save it, just for the hell of it. Okay, and then, yeah, we're done. And let's get out of here. I guess the last thing I can do is I can show off some of the options that I didn't really show off uh, before. I did show what the check album thing is, but there's also sound. Where, yeah, I guess you can listen to the music of the game. And then, of course, adjust the soundtrack and the sound effects. And whether you want to change it to stereo or mono. And I'm assuming the congratulations is just the credits. Yeah, I assumed correctly. Okay, so yeah, this has been uh, Slim Kirby. This has been Let's Play Pilot Wing 64. I hope you enjoyed the project, and for those of you who have already expressed that you've enjoyed the project, I'm glad you enjoyed the project, actually. I was actually unsure of uh, how this project would take off in the opinions of my fans, but you guys seem to enjoy it, and I'm actually kind of glad I did this project. So screw you, Shadow Mario 41, this is a good game, I don't care what you say. Uh, I do kind of understand his point, though. I mean, this is, like, not an incredible game. But, you know, it, it, it's fun for what it is, and you really got to give this game a lot of respect. And uh, because of this game, I am definitely going to pick up Pilot Wings 3DS when it comes out. Uh, not sure when that's going to be. It's, it might be a release date, or a release game, but I honestly don't know. But, yeah, let's stop talking. Let's actually end this project. Um, I'll see you guys for whatever my next project is. Hopefully it's another fun project like this. And, yeah, I'll just talk to you guys next time. Later, folks.